Hey YouTube, this is Jeff at Darkman Metals. As you saw in the first clip, I was preparing a piece of metal for brazing. Now, a wire wheel is one of the best things you can use in the shop for getting surface rust off the metal. But I'll bet you didn't know that you can use a drill press to do the same thing. This is a quarter inch thick piece of stock that uh, I left outside overnight to see if I can get a little bit of surface rust to build up on it. And it worked out fairly well. Now, uh, I can't put this in my bench grinder simply because the bench grinding wheel won't fit this piece of stock. So what I've gone ahead and done is buy a drill accessory. This is a wire wheel specifically meant to be mounted in a drill chuck. But instead of putting it in a hand drill, I'm using it in my drill press. To make this thing work, all I need to do is raise the table up into position until it touches. And once it touches, you want to give it just a hair more on the table rise. Turn on your drill press. And you can see the difference right off the bat. This is a machine-made Tibetan singing bowl. Now, I'd never do this with a, uh, a handmade bowl. That would be just totally disrespectful in my opinion. But what I want to do is I want to clean this up. Um, I just bought this at a tag sale for about a dollar. They just, I guess, kept changing it or something. Now the one nice thing about this setup is it allows you to really get in and clean concave shapes. Same exact drill press, this time with a drum sander. Looks like I need a new drum sander, but you get the idea. There are dozens of different types of wire wheels that you can buy for your drill press or your hand drill. The reason I prefer to use the drill press is simply because it allows me to hold onto my work with both hands. Well, YouTube, I hope that gives you a basic idea of some of the things that you can use your drill press for other than simply drilling holes. But before you go out and get accessories like wire wheels or drum sanders, make sure that you're buying quality tools and that they are rated for the amount of RPMs your drill press is capable of producing. If you have something that's only rated for 2600 to 3000 RPMs, make sure you don't exceed that with your drill press. Some drill presses can go significantly higher. Along with that, Get yourself a halfway decent pair of leather gloves, protect your hands, and as always, protect your eyes. This has been Jeff at Dark Moon Metals, and I'll see you again on the next video.